Hi, my name is Thomas Schultz, and I made a GameCube recording device. Now, it's not your ordinary recording device where you capture the video, instead you capture the controller inputs. I'll be demoing it in Super Smash Bros. Melee and Super Monkey Ball, which is a physics-based game in which, instead of controlling your character, you control the world. So you can tilt the control stick forwards to go forwards, backwards to go backwards, and etc. So I'm going to press up on the down pad, and that starts the recording. So I'm going to try to beat this level and then play it back for you. The up starting the recording is just a choice I made for convenience sake. So I'm about to stop the recording by pressing down on the d-pad, and then play it back by pressing right. So hopefully this will work. And as you can see, yep, it works. So what I'm showing you right now is the hex file that gets saved whenever I make a recording. As you can see, it's pretty long. What I'm about to do is I'm going to change the ones column, the least significant bit, of the x and y coordinate of the control stick. This corresponds to a real life change of about a tenth of a millimeter and only for a sixtieth of a second. So that's a pretty small difference. Uh, but as you're going to see, it has a huge effect on the outcome. On the left, you have the original recording, and on the right is the one that was modified, the teeny tiny bit. But already you can see that the one on the right, well, just died, and the one on the left is still going. I'm going to speed it up a bit now to show you that the one on the left successfully finished this level. Every single bit sent to the GameCube is what was originally sent the first time I recorded it. Uh, and any variation in this means that the recording gets desynced and it doesn't work. Come on! Now what I'm showing you is something I threw together for fun. I'm video capturing the output of the GameCube while I'm recording the controller's inputs just so you can see what the unmodified recording looks like. Uh, now I'm going to run a script really quickly just to sanitize the input and now I'm going to open it up in a GUI I made specifically for GameCube recordings. So what's about to happen might happen a little bit fast but basically I'm just going to be messing around with the recording. So the first thing I do is I get rid of about a second of frames in the beginning in which nothing happens. And then next I'm going to be speeding up a uh, shined short hop double laser if that means anything to you. So once I clean it up a little bit, the next part I think is the most fun part. Control C, Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V. I basically just copied the Shine Short Hop Double Laser and just copy pasted it over and over. Now I'm going to do the same thing with Multi Shining. So again, I'm going to clean it up a little bit. Uh, so you see I remove a frame and now I'm going to Control C and then copy paste a bunch again. Now, if you remember the recording, I jumped, and I just want to get rid of that, so I'm going to zoom in on it, and right-click just to remove the frames. And now I'm just going to get rid of the ending, which I messed around a bit, add in a jab by pressing A, and then a pause by pressing Start. And now the recording's good to go, so I'm going to save it. I'm going to run another script to convert it into the task format, uh, tool assisted speedrun format for the Dolphin emulator for GameCube. I'm going to open up the emulator and play back the recording. So sit back and relax, watch some multi shines. Ready? Come on! Right now I'm showing you an oscilloscope, and it's showing you the conversation that the GameCube and the controller are having. So basically what happens is 60 times a second, the GameCube just asks the controller what buttons are being pressed. So I'm going to zoom in on their conversation so we can see it in more detail. What I'm pointing at right now is what the GameCube is saying to the controller, and now what I'm pointing at is the controller's response. So let's zoom in on the controller's response a little bit more. Now I'm going to press a button and see what happens on the screen. So I'm pressing start. and one of the bit changes when start's pressed, and that's basically the controller just saying, oh hey, start is being pressed. And the same thing happens with all the other buttons. And by the way, sorry about the lighting, it's the only way I could clearly show the oscilloscope. So now that you know a little bit about the basics, I'm going to tell you about how I'm able to record. So basically I have a device called an Arduino sitting in between the GameCube and the controller. 
So instead of the GameCube directly sending messages to the controller, the GameCube sends messages to the Arduino and the Arduino can send a message to the controller. So what happens is the first thing that the Arduino does is it sends a message to the controller. It sends the same message that the GameCube would send to the controller and the controller doesn't know the difference so the controller responds with which buttons are being pressed. From here the Arduino does two things. The first is that it sends which buttons are being pressed to the, my computer and the second is that it remembers which buttons are being pressed so that the next time the console asks hey which buttons are being pressed it knows how to respond. Now for the how the actual playback works there's actually only one slight difference and the difference is that when the Arduino sends which buttons are being pressed to the computer the computer just responds hey actually why don't you use these buttons instead and that's that's pretty much it. Once I beat this level, I'm going to show you something called a logic analyzer. It's similar to the oscilloscope I showed you earlier. It allows me to look at the signals. And this is what it looks like. Alright, so right now I'm selecting what part is the recording. This is the recording part, and then this part on the right, this is the playback. So I'm going to zoom in a bit so you can see in more detail. If you remember what the oscilloscope looks like, it looks kind of similar. In fact, the red one, which is the communications between the GameCube and the Arduino, look the same and the yellow one, which is the communication between the Arduino and the controller, look the same. The green is simply just the Arduino sending the frame data to the computer. Now I'm going to zoom out and we can look at the playback. So as we zoom in, we see it looks very similar. The only difference is the blue on the bottom. And the blue is the computer responding, hey, use these button presses instead. There's still a ton to talk about, but I just want to give a brief overview of everything, and hopefully everyone watching this understood it to at least a decent extent. Um, I do not yet have recording working for matches in Melee, but I really hope to be able to do that soon. Um, I'd like to be able to record for tons of reasons, the first of which is we'd be uh, hopefully being able to play it back on an emulator in 1080p. Reason number two. It's really compact to record. An hour of normal video capture takes like, like a gigabyte, but my way it only takes under like 10 megabytes, so. Reason number three, we'd be able to analyze people's games into a lot more detail. Reason number four, you saw crazy easy tasking. The fifth reason I'm interested in this is because it allows you to analyze and record your own gameplay. Um, so say you're just a beginner, trying to learn to wave shine, um, or wave dash, whatever, um, you can see that, oh, you're, you're pressing R too soon or too late, by, and you can see exactly by how many frames you're doing it, um, and it'll give you a better idea of where to go from there. Um, other games, maybe Ocarina of Time, you're trying to learn to super side without pause buffering, um, you can see, oh, I, I rolled two frames too early, um, so I just think the possibilities are endless. Um, I'm really excited to hopefully be able to record matches at some point, and I hope I will see you all at EVO 2014 recording matches in 1080p. Um, peace.